What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Fanatic Journey. So Lucid had a epic day on Friday. I want to go over some of the reasons why it went up as much as it did. A lot of the bullish signals are starting to make itself very apparent and analysts, especially when it comes down to their upcoming Q2 earnings. I want to talk on what analysts are doing. So I'm going to go over all that. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that, let's get right to it. So based on Friday, it did go up 8.42%, huge amount of momentum, especially considering $7.54 was the high I'm going to touch on the technicals and what that means. But there was also a lot of good volume for a Friday, which is kind of abnormal, but 68.24 million shares being traded, 51.19 million shares is the average. So definitely a lot of good stuff happening behind the scenes. There was no actual SEC filings, no press releases from Lucid itself. So it was just merely following the news that's been coming out and different articles are stating different things such as this article right here does say lucid motor sapphire ev model unveiled stock surges and it kind of clarifies as well it says the announcement sent shock waves through the market leading to a remarkable surge in lucid group shares so basically they're attributing i guess the broader ev market and rally because of lucid which even though technically i do agree that the sapphire is an absolutely beautiful vehicle that wasn't the reason why the market did rally because also on a side note this was announced on the 27th so it wouldn't really be one day delay that's not how the market typically works but based on this lucid did tweet this out on like i said 9:51 on the 27th just saying sapphire release can cars on the line in Casa Grande, Arizona, the world's first luxury super sports sedan will be available soon. So of course, I've already signaled that it's going to be, I believe, late summer to early September, somewhere around there. So definitely fairly soon. But it was this news that caused it to go up the broader EV market and also lucid. But Biden, so Biden is cracking down on gas powered vehicles, and he's going to be forcing them to be more efficient. And by doing so, that's going to cause them to be more expensive and in turn it's going to push people towards EVs so I think it's kind of a, a beautiful domino effect but just be aware this is not something that's happening overnight it is a little bit later in the decade I do believe so once again this is a fairly good thing for the broader market and lucid so again not to criticize the sapphire by any means because the sapphire is a very very beautiful vehicle as you can tell and the stats speak for itself but this wasn't the reason why Lucid did go up. But keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor, so you guys always do your own due diligence. But because of this rally that did happen, there was a lot more bull signals that kind of made itself very apparent. One of which is this, so options activity. So based on Friday, there was $6.87 million in calls being purchased versus $1.15 million in puts. And normally, it's around a 60-40 split between calls and puts. But based on Friday, it was 86% bullish very good stuff so meaning people are anticipating that lucid is going to continue to trend up so i'm going to touch on the technicals like i already said and break that down what that actually does mean if you are very bullish and looking at the calls this is a grid that shows all the expiry dates and strike prices but based on this it is anticipated to go back to around the eight dollar range next week and by their earnings um, which is on the 7th i do believe it is going to be anywhere from looks like 750 to nine dollars so a lot of volatility in that regard and over and above that though big money so big money was very much buying and for a friday that's abnormal so it was 1.62 million 1.43 million and on a side note this is all the transactions on the secondary market over one hundred thousand dollars but there was a lot of good buying especially well over the ask as well so you can always watch that looking at the bid the ask and the price it actually went for so for instance here this 10.5 million that did basically kickstart all of this afterwards that was well over the ask because at the time the bid was 744 745 was the ask and it went for seven dollars and 47 cents so a lot of big money behind the scenes decided to buy based on that news and clearly i think that's a pretty optimistic standpoint i'll give you guys a quick overview of the dark pool some people don't like the dark pool because it is linked to shorting but similarly there was a lot of transactions as you can tell right here so i'll give you guys a quick overview of what shorts are doing just to kind of touch on that and compare the two so short score is currently 74 utilization is 82.46 percent and based on friday shorts did return 1.39 million so if you interpret this data the fact that shorts actually did return some shares and it was a very green day 
shows that they actually do believe that this is justified. That is not an overreaction. So that's a something to consider. 21.67% of the free flow is being shorted. That works out to be 177.23 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost to borrow average is 1.23%. And just to put it in comparison on how big uh, shorts are in Lucid, currently there is $1.23 billion worth of shorts right now. So once again, that's a pretty substantial amount. When it comes down to it though, I wanna talk on the upcoming earnings. So I've brought this up and I will continue to bring up, up until their earnings, but this was opened, I believe on July the 24th, the rare opportunity for retail to ask questions to management. And unfortunately, not really much has changed since my last update on this. So typically they do ask the first three questions, usually at least, unless they kind of feel bad for us, then they ask more questions. But generally, I think it's fair to assume that they're just going to answer the first three. So first one is in regards to the whole lower price mid-sized SUV that was originally estimated for mid-decade. They said last quarter that it's going to be later in the decade. So again, that's something to kind of consider. But this is a very good question. ESS, I'm very, very happy that finally someone is asking a question about ESS. Last time we heard an update, I think it was Q2 or Q1 of 2022. So it's been a very long time. Third question is in regards to Apple. So I think Apple is one of those things as well. People just really, really want to find out and break that down to see if that's actually a rumor at this stage, who knows. But when it comes down to it, like I mentioned, also analysts have turned a little bit more bullish on Lucid's upcoming earnings because I've been monitoring as far as what they are doing for estimates and they kind of recently bumped it up. So when it comes down to earnings per share, you can see there was previously five analysts that had a consensus of negative 38 cents, whereas now there is seven, meaning two just recently jumped on board and there is a consensus of negative 35 four cents so the two analysts that did jump on board were very bullish so again that's something to consider and when it comes down to revenue because for instance for earnings there are several different things people care about earnings per share revenue and future guidance so revenue is something that people watch very closely this one there was one recent analyst that did get on board so there was previously five that had a average consensus of 207.98 million now there is six with a consensus of a 187.31 million so this attribute is a little bit more bearish and that one analyst that did jump on board must have given zero dollars as revenue because for the average to change from 207 to 187 just based on one that's a pretty big jump uh, but in reality they probably gave maybe 80 million as an estimate but still that's very very low and does not make any logical sense that it is around 80 million because if you look at the news uh, especially based on this they did actually produce 2173 vehicles 1404 vehicles were delivered and i've already done a video on why this probably was a little bit lower than anticipated just a lot of the international deliveries did make it to the country just not to the actual customer so they didn't really count as a check mark Per se. So again, that's kind of what is happening behind the scenes. So I'll give you guys constant updates as I see them happen for revenue and earnings per share if there is any other changes from now up until their actual earnings. But as far as where things might be going, so let's kind of take a zoomed out viewpoint of this. So looking at this, so based on what has happened over the last little bit, it was flirting with that 50 day moving average over the last little bit. And we already do know when it comes down to Lucid and that 50 day moving average, they are kind of go hand in hand as far as a rally. So it did officially get above this 50 day moving average and also the 100 day moving average. So I think things are getting very good and looking very appealing. Plus it did successfully transition from the lower to the higher percentile of the boiling band and looking right here at some of these indicators momentum shows number of retail investors were oddly flat on friday stochastic is a nice bull segment right now and it is at 26 so kind of neutral but once again does leave a lot of a good opportunity for lucid to continue to trend up similar to what the options activities are kind of pointing to and like I mentioned as far as next week it is anticipated to go around the eight dollar range and then after earnings anywhere from around maybe 750 to nine dollars so a lot of volatility but clearly based on the technicals as well things are looking fairly optimistic and with it being at seven dollars and 47 cents it is currently trading between this r1 and the r2 so 717 is that next big support and seven dollars and 57 cents is that next big resistance and conveniently that is exactly what it did bounce off of 
um, I guess on Friday. So again, I do feel that with the good momentum being had behind the scenes, there might be a little bit more of a consolidation briefly on Monday going into next week. But I do feel that broadly it is going to continue to rally and we might actually see and stay around the $8 range going into the Q2 earnings. But that's just my own projections. Like I said, let me know you guys' thoughts and give yourself a shout out if you've been buying over the last several days or if you sold, what's your take on that? And what's your viewpoint on their upcoming earnings? Do you think it's bullish, bearish? What's your guys' take on all that? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And take advantage of this promo completely free for an account with Mumu. They also offer $0 commission, free level 2 trading. But if you throw $100 at this account, you get 5 free stocks. And each stock is valued up to $2,000. So it is a complete no-brainer. And plus, you get a $50 cash reward. So it's a win-win. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, I appreciate you guys watching. Let's all make a lot of money on Lucid.